Hello guys, what's going on? This Age of Skeezer here with a new commentary guide for summoning. The reason I picked summoning is because I still see a lot of people having loads of questions about it in Eolotic's friends chat. So I basically thought it would be a good idea to set myself available for this guide. So for training summoning, you will need charms. Luckily, it isn't really hard to collect charms on Eolotic. You get charms from almost every monster you kill, but there are two methods I would like to share with you guys on collecting a good amount of charms. So the first method I'm talking about is collecting crimson charms from the Kalfite soldiers. Kalfite soldiers are in the tunnel outside the desert, so what you want to do is teleport to the Shantai Pass with the wizard at home and walk all the way to the west until you find a tunnel. Once you climb down, you will follow the path until you find a room with all the Kalfite soldiers. They automatically attack you, so maging them or mailing them uh, will be not a problem if killing it without retaliating. The second method is killing Bork. He can be found in the Gale's tunnel, and you will have to go from portal to portal to get the work. He is not really easy to kill either, but he drops a lot of different charms at once, so not only crimson charms, as in my first method. I would recommend bringing good food or brews as well with prayer or super restore potions. I would also recommend googling a map to know which portals you have to choose once you are in the Gale's tunnel, since it's a really annoying maze to get there where you want to be. So when we have a good amount of charms, we are ready to train our summoning. The only place you can train summoning on Alaric yet is by using the obelisk when teleporting to Night Zenot with the wizard. Fortunately, the bank is easy to reach there to bring another inventory while making new pouches. Make sure that summoning is gonna cost you some money, it is definitely not a cheap skill. This is basically because of buying the ingredients and spirit shards in the Grand Exchange, but you will get a part of your money back if you do want to sell the pouches you made to the Grand Exchange. So from level 1 to 4, we are going to make spirit wolf pouches. You will need wolf bones and gold charms for doing that. You will be spending 7 spirit shots for every pouch you make. From level 4 to 16, we are going to make dreadful pouches. You will need rock chicken and gold charms for doing that. You will be spending 8 spirit shots for every pouch you make. Then from level 16 to 32, we are going to make granite crabs. We will need iron ore and gold charms for doing that. You will be spending 7 spirit shots for every pouch you make. From level 32 to 46, we are going to make honey badgers. We will need a honeycomb and crimson charms for doing that. You will be spending 84 spirit shots for every pouch you make. Then from level 46 to 52 we are going to make pyre lords. We will need a tinderbox and crimson charms for doing that. You will be spending 111 shards for every pouch you make. Then from level 52 to 67 we are going to make spirit terror birds. We will need a raw bird meat and gold charms for doing that. You will be spending 12 shards for every pouch you make. Then from level 67 to 71, we are going to make war tortoises. We will need a tortoise shell and gold charms for doing that. You will be spending one shard for every pouch you make. Then from level 71 to 74, we are going to make arctic bears. We will need a polar cabbage fur and gold charms for doing that. You will be spending 14 shards for every pouch you make. From level 74 to 79, we are going to make granite lobsters. We will need a granite and crimson charms for doing that. You will be spending 166 shards for every pouch you make. Then from level 79 to 89 we are going to make Moss Titans. We will need an Earth, Talisman and Blue Charms for doing that. You will be spending 202 shards for every pouch you make. And then lastly from level 89 to 99 we are going to make Geyser Titans. We will need a Water Talisman and Blue Charms for doing that. You will be spending 222 shards for every pouch you make. I'm still collecting charms to get the possible 200 mil experience in summoning which I hope to get whenever I have enough charms to get it done. Anyways, I guess that was it for the summoning guide, I hope you guys enjoyed and most of all I hope you find it useful as that is what I was aiming for the most. This guide took me some time to create, so I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button to show me some love. Thanks for watching everyone and hope to see you next time.